It's Breakfast Daily on CCTV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, it's that time of the year where you know of a sister or brother battling with flu. So today we're going to talk about how to fight that flu with nutrition. It's really important for us to pay attention to the kinds of meals we eat. They may just help us in our battle with flu. And of course, throughout the conversation, if you have any questions or comments, let us know with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. The WhatsApp line is... 0550585832. We'll be going through some ingredients as well that you can pick up at your local market. So I would recommend you bring out a pen and a paper, jot them down, and you can try them at home yourself. So if you have a friend who might be battling with flu, you can recommend it for them or cook some for the person as, as a gift to help them heal from the flu battle. Every week we have Akosia Konedu Yadom who's a state registered nutritionist with us and she's here. And again, if you have any questions for her, let us know with the hashtag Breakfast Daily and what's up line is on your screen. Good morning, Akosia. Good morning, Jifa. How are you? I'm fine. You look lovely. You look lovely too. Aww. So it's a pleasure to have you. <laughs> now we're talking about battling flu with nutrition. Let's define what flu is first for those of our viewers who might not know what it is. Okay, so um, to start with, flu is a viral infection mm -hmm. and it affects our uh, respiratory system, uh, system, sorry, which has to do with our throat, mm -hmm. yes, our lungs, and, 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 and yes, our, our, our nose. Okay. So basically, that, that, that's what a flu is and it will present with um, various symptoms. So depending on how, the severity of your flu, mm -hmm. you, can, you can see sometimes a, a yellowish thickened uh, uh, mucus mm -hmm. coming out and for some people it's a bit greenish. So okay. depending on your, your body or whatever, um, it's triggering that uh, you can have any of that. Yes, for some people you have, especially even in children, mm -hmm. there, there is this uh, discharge from even their ears. Wow. Uh, yes, and, 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 and it can get so bad. You have um, pains in your face, your forehead. So sometimes you, if you realize that you can feel that one of your, your nostrils are, yeah. are blocked and then you have this severe headache on the other side of your, your forehead. There are, there are things to look out for, including uh, what I just spoke of or mentioned. So, yes, that, that's flu. It's a viral infection. You can treat it with, uh, with, with, with um, uh, um, um, what do you call it, uh, antibiotics. But okay. what it does is that it doesn't cure it. Flu is a viral infection, which means that it will need to be, uh, um, um, to be taken care of or to be managed. Okay. Why we take antibiotics is because we want to um, avoid um, other infections mm. coming in. Yeah, so you don't cure flu. You just manage it. And I believe that by the end of this discussion, our uh, people or our viewers would will fully appreciate everything we speak about because it works. But there's also flu shots as well, right, for those who want to prevent getting the flu. Well, it depends. Or... But sometimes you, far, you you can't do anything about it. We all can't be a, a, in, an, a, in a car with glasses rolled up, yes? So we, we, are, we are walking day in and out. We are picking um, 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 vehicles, especially if you are not driving, mm -hmm. yes. And so it means that sometimes you really can't do anything about it. Okay. And as a matter of fact, too, like I said, the activities we do, what we are taking, what we are doing can all influence we have in a flu. Excellent. So let's talk about managing the flu with nutrition. Where do we start from? Okay, to start with, I will say that once flu is in, the possibility of you feeling dehydrated is very high. Why? <laughs> because, um, Jifa, you realize that, okay, so your immune system is compromised on, mm -hmm. yes, because there is an infection. And like I spoke of, it's a, it's a viral infection. So mm -hmm. it means that definitely something has been taken from you. Because for some people, I, I, when I was researching, I came across an article we said, which said that, yes, you should call your, your, where you work. If I, you call MCT um, and go like, I have a flu. So I'm not coming to the office because it is believed that for some people it makes them very weak. But I believe Ghanaians are very, very strong. When we have flu, we still go to the office. But you yes. can infect someone with Yes. That, so, right? yes, it's, it's a contagious um, 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 infection. So it's and so advisable to it's just withdraw yourself to from isolate others, yes, yourself. That's from why other, uh, other places, they recommend that you call your, your, your office and let them know that you have a flu so you can't come to the office. And make sure that you distress. So you realize that some some of these things happens as a result of we being stressed out. We're not eating the right, the right foods, okay. yes. And, and so you need to at least calm down, 
as a way of you detoxifying as far as your stores are concerned and then pumping or replenishing your stores with some goodness and i know we will we, yes. we, we will get to let's that. take a look at that so let's take a look at the meals okay, so, that you can take okay so we have um, for managing um, flu. um foods that are good for managing um, um flu so i spoke about fluid replacement make mm -hmm. sure you are taking a lot of fruit juices okay because you need to also clear your system. It's an infection, so you mm -hmm. need to really take um, um, set, flash certain things out of your system and okay. then boost on your immunity, basically. Okay. Flu attacks our immunity. So these foods are rich in vitamin C, vitamin E, and, and uh, yes, especially, and they help with, your, with our immunity. Nice. Yes, so we have the citric family foods. We have pineapple. We have orange. Garlic is very good, and it is used in alternative uh, medicine. Okay. And CT is preaching Ghana and stuff so mm -hmm. i would say that that is one excellent way to fight flu because okay. you make sure you incorporate them into your meals there are people who crush it and then drink, drink it with it. warm water yeah. god bless you if you, can you can do add it. It i can do it meal. so add it to okay. your meal oatmeal mm. it's it's very tricky we we are speaking about the fact that you need to eat foods that are rich in and whole uh, mm -hmm. that are whole sorry yes but Whole foods are not easily digestible because of their, their complex yes, nature, because they are very fibrous. So we also guard against it. But oatmeal is, is good, bit. just a okay. little bit, because we can take it out of our, our, okay. our meals. Then make sure you are taking lots of water. Okay. Protein, um, um, what, yogurt. Yogurt mm -hmm. is good in probiotics, okay. and it's also good in protein. And it's easily digested. So... When you have flu, we encourage you to go so, so relaxed as far as your protein mm -hmm. um, is concerned. We need, the, we need those nutrients. But and should you eat the yogurt by itself or with granola? Because we just talked about the fiber bit, so you don't want to have no, too much granola so, in no, there. No, so now well. we just want to reap the uh, probiotic um, so factors. Just the so go for just the yogurt because you are, you are, you are getting two. It's rich in probiotic mm -hmm. and then it is also rich in protein. So okay. it's like you have to using one then and of fruits course and it's vegetables. the all natural yogurt because yes, every time we think natural. of yogurt people think of the no all natural the one yogurt all, sweet, all natural yogurt. Not, not really yogurt once you see us here yeah, nutrition segment think about organic stuff yes yes so <laughs> all natural yogurts okay. yes so you can help or make sure you incorporate some of these food we have pepper mm. and that helps to 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 kind of clear your nostrils because sometimes okay. you realize that there is this block. what about ginger ginger is also good okay they are all they have uh, they all have same properties and they have anti-inflammatory properties nice. so garlic um ginger pepper okay. they okay. are they are all good and they are foods to avoid when yes but if, let's look at the vegetables in the middle how important is it for you to have loads and loads and loads of vegetables okay that's slapped right there in the middle okay green leafy vegetables okay. yes they are good and and we always say that use what you have okay. so if dandelion is what you have use it. it so the green leafy vegetables are also loaded in some of these nutrients we, sp we spoke about vitamin c vitamin e and other micronutrients that supports our immunity so mm. flu attacks our immunity yeah. so, so you need mm. to make sure you are eating a lot of food that boosts our uh, health as far as our immunity is concerned. Okay, so we've taken a look at the meals that are good for you, right? So we've talked about fruits, especially in the citrus family. Uh, get a little bit of oats in there. All natural yogurt. Drink yep. loads and loads of water. Water is good for you. And, of course, a lot of vegetables. If you can get the green leafy ones, go for them. Now, we'll take a look at meals that are not good for you when you're dealing with the flu. Okay, so yes, um, we have um, soda, drinks, caffeinated <laughs> okay. um, um, drinks, and then we have. Um, Why are they not good for you? Okay, so we want to boost on our immunity. You mm -hmm. realize that sometimes it, it it slows the work of some of of the activities in our body. So hard okay. to digest. The reason is that it is hard and fibrous, mm. and we should avoid them so that um, um, if you can't, if we should cut them, we should cut down. Sorry, what's happening to me? We should cut down <laughs> okay. on it if we don't want to avoid it um, totally. totally. And okay. then alcohol, it's a diuretic. And ah. yes, it's, it's a diuretic which leads to dehydration. And we, and we want, want to, to be hydrated. make sure that you are hydrated. Supplements. Okay. Some supplements are 
also also um, harm us in a way, and mm. we need a lot of research to be done into it, especially zinc. Mm -hmm. Some two are very, 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 very good for our immune system, especially if it's a probiotic. Okay, but so something like zinc... Get, get rid of the, the soda, zinc, some, get rid of all that, yeah. just drink water. And then we that's have what broth. Broth is made from bones. Mm. Um, yes, I'm um, sorry, broth is made from chicken. Uh, meat, uh -huh. yes, or, or, or vegetables, okay. and we have um, um, what we call stock. Uh -huh. So when you boil bones, you realize that, um, okay, there is a leaching of calcium, yes. every goodness in the bones into the liquid. So yeah. it's something you can take because okay. we have to do a lot of fluid replacement and make sure we balance our electrolyte level. But this is, this, this is the not good. Yes, the not good. That's why. So I spoke about supplements, yes, and I've, I've okay. expanded on that. We have whole foods, some okay. whole foods we spoke about, uh -huh. and we said that even though they are good, they are hard to uh, digest. digest. So, so we don't want to put that. pressure on your GI system, your mm -hmm. gastrointestinal system. Alcohol, mm. alcohol is very, very bad. Okay. I spoke about the fact that um, it's diuretic, which mm -hmm. means that it has a tendency of making sure you go dehydrated. Mm. Yes, and then what about the burgers and the like? Yes, they mm -hmm. are greasy foods. Greasy okay. foods too are not. Are, good are not healthy for us because Why? they are hard to digest okay yes and we need to go gentle on okay. our gastrointestinal system okay so make sure you are going off these mm -hmm. the sodas and alcohol caffeinated and uh, foods they are all not too good for our system what about yes. this is that cheese in the middle and milk and all those things yes they, they are not good for yogurt you yogurt is good it falls yes. under diet but okay. um Milk, you should go down. Like okay. I said, it's difficult for some of us, yes, because of the way our breakfast is structured. So you should go down on it because it disrupts the, the functioning or the proper work mm -hmm. of the immune system. Okay. Yes, and so you should make sure you cut down on some of these things. We've given you yogurt, so at stick least to the yogurt. stick to yogurt and then try to cut down, okay. yes, on some of it. So instead of going for tea or milo with, with milk in it, mm -hmm. I can decide to go for fresh fruit juice mm. yes and so you can have ginger tea and a it, bit of honey in there and then you're fine works okay if I well done yes it okay. helps so anything to make sure you you give your your nose what and your throat some comfort yes because it can be very 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 disturbing especially for children and then you can get otc's yes okay. so that one over the counter mm -hmm. uh, medication and drugs so mm -hmm. that one you need um, a, a pharmacist, pharmacist to assist. will assist you or your caregiver mm -hmm. but you are advised not to be giving something like that to children below age four okay because they are too young so whatever is going on i think if it's a child you need to consult a pediatrician mm -hmm. yes and make sure you are helping as far as home meals are concerned by pumping a lot of fluids into the, into child. the child's meal will soup be considered good or bad because i think we're programmed to think every time you don't feel well drink some soup and then you'll be fine soup is excellent okay for flu because i spoke about the fact that we need to do um fluid replacement that's why i spoke about uh, broth and stock because when it comes to broth and stock you mm -hmm. don't focus on 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 what is sitting in there you don't focus on the beef you don't focus on the chicken you are focusing on the on, on the on the on the fluid the water okay so, so let's take a look at the soup uh, <laughs> that we have for you guys at home so that you can you can put this into perspective okay yes. uh -huh. so this is um what will pass for i wanted to get something to look off for yeah Chipa. this was like <laughs> light soup. soup okay light, light soup, soup. Yeah. granola okay. soup i don't want us to pump a lot of fatty starch into that's our true. system so let's stick so with the light that's why they cook light soup for you when you are not well okay yes so that you can replace your fluids and so, the focus is not the protein no it's the, soup the focus itself. is on the water let okay. me let me let me say that uh -huh. the focus is on the water so stock this is this this can pass for um somebody who has flu and then we have another um, um another one image. that we'll take a look at yes more like what i like ah, yes you see okay. this what one is this it's this clear. very light yeah. this is very light yes this is but why broth. why is this good this is broth okay because for this you are getting the goodness probably from just bones okay yes so broth can be, i said broth is made from chicken no this is not broth this is stock okay stock. yes so okay. if it's stock it means that it's just um uh, something like um getting the goodness in bones okay. afterwards you take the bones off and then, then we are just taking the the, the the soup or the liquid okay. yes and when is a broth 
you, you do it with chicken, you can do it with vegetables. So this is a broth. You have vegetables like in there. Okay. Yes, so the main focus here is the water. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the, 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 uh, the vegetable is just an add-on. What are what, the nutrients you're getting from the water? So it depends on what you are using. Okay. If it's stock, like I spoke about, and mm -hmm. you are using bones, you are pumping calcium okay. into your stores. Okay. So in as much as your immunity is compromised on calcium is for repair, it mm -hmm. helps the formation of strong bones and teeth. And so definitely will have an influence on your immunity because everything about us dwells mm -hmm. on our immunity yeah. your spinal cord every bone mm -hmm. will need to, to 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 be safe as far as immunity is concerned so that is one as far as um, using bones for stock is concerned and with broth if you use let's say um chicken mm -hmm. yes then it means that you have something being added onto you as far as your protein stores is concerned because definitely some of the the, the nutrients in in the chicken will leach into, into the, the, the fluid or the water. Yes, yeah, so depending on what you use, the goodness in vegetables, if you, if you use vegetables, will be pumped okay. into it. So in the, in the house, we throw stock away, but this time you Save are making it, sure that it. everything that sits in the pot is entering your body. Wow, okay. Yes. So is it okay to say that if you're battling with flu for breakfast, maybe you can have orange juice, right? It's excellent. And perhaps lunch yogurt. If, if you want to that, stay that light. That wouldn't be balanced. So you can okay. use that yogurt for your healthy in between. Okay, so your snack. Yes. And then get your stock as a heavy lunch. You can add something to it. So you realize that the stock will be very light. Uh -huh. Because if you want to use it as lunch, then I will advise you to go for the broth. Okay, the broth in So that you can stock. add, let's say, a bit of the local rice. <laughs> okay, so you can get your local made in Ghana rice. Yes, just, to a it, just a little bit, like um, okay. um, two um, soup spoons okay. leveled. Uh -huh. Yes, so we don't heap food, so no, leveled. Just a little bit. Yes, so you can go for that so that you also boost your system. But if you are so weak, you realize that it can really take a toll on people. For instance, people have, I have fever. And I wasn't so lucky. I have flu too. Mm -hmm. So it means that I'm fighting fever and still fighting need to fight flu. Well. If the appetite is not there, you can just do a little bit mm -hmm. of the rice. Something Very just fine. small to make sure that you pump a lot of the broth in Into there. So system. you need to be treating uh, fever in isolation and, and be taking care of All the you flu. have for dinner? Okay, dinner, I'd suggest. Let's see. I don't know. You can, you can have a bowl of salad or some um, potom. Um, Ama it's amazing. Yeah, there's no potom that I want to say. The contumery. It's 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 perfect. Yeah, contumery it's perfect. just like maybe one. Um, so if you yeah, know that one, your one your food plantain. is not going to be, uh, uh, is not going to have a lot of fruit in mm -hmm. there, you make sure that you are compensating with a yeah. lot of fruit. So afterwards, okay. you can decide to go with a glass full of um, 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 fresh juice, mm -hmm. not a drink. Okay. Yes, and then um, you can go for coconut water too. It's very, very, very also good. good. Loaded in potassium. Potassium has a way of also boosting on That's our immune. Awesome. But you then drink strength. water throughout because you need to stay hydrated. But water is excellent. Okay. Yes. Too far. What role will banana play in all of this? Okay, so banana is loaded with potassium. Okay. Yes, banana is loaded like I wrote. When mm -hmm. somebody is vomiting, so mm. for some people's flu, it can be so terrible that they are vomiting. Mm -hmm. And Jifa, I know it's clear for you to read. Yes, yes I'll it go for it. Potassium. Ba banana for flu. When vomiting, take banana. This is because you lose potassium and energy when vomiting. And banana is rich in these and can help you replenish your stores. So, you know, it doesn't have to go through any method of cooking. It's just like a diet. You get every goodness in the banana mm -hmm. because you don't need to cook it. You don't need to touch it. You just take it just as it is. And it's loaded with potassium mm -hmm. and some energy. When you vomit, you realize that for some people, they even feel it in their ribs here. It's mm -hmm. so difficult for them to throw up. So... After vomiting, some people become so weak. So it wow. is very, very important that we pump a lot of energy into our system. And banana is loaded with energy. It's a fruit, but it's loaded, loaded with, with energy. energy. And then potassium, okay. just to help with our immunity too, because our immunity is everything we yeah. are. Okay. Thank you so much, Akosia Akonaji Adam. Where do we follow you on social media? Okay, so on IG is Nutritionist A Akosia, mm -hmm. and then on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Nutritionist Akosia. Okay, and then you can call me on 0243-350206. Thank you very much. Akosia Kanadu Yadam, a state registered nutritionist. And you heard her. If you're dealing with a flu, that's not the time to be eating burgers and fries and fried things. 
stay away from those things okay drink soup if you can all right drink some ginger tea get some all natural yogurt eat more vegetables eat more fruits because you need to stay hydrated and it's really really important to make sure that you're actually eating the right things when you're battling with the food hi guys i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to our youtube channel the city tube for exclusive breakfast daily content and other city tv programs like comment and share with your friends